I'm headed down to North Central Shelter. Apparently they have a year old spaniel mix they've found on the streets as a stray. They said he's a great dog. He's very sweet, gets along with people, gets along with other dogs. But for one reason or another, he's been there for a long time. This is a very common story. The shelters are completely overflowing with dogs that really good dogs constantly get overlooked. And unfortunately, when that happens, their days are numbered. Such is the case with this little guy. So I'm gonna get down there and rescue him and see what I can do. Even from behind bars, Dean's sweet nature shines through. Hi, I heard about you, I heard about you, I heard about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You always kiss like that? My invitation in, make some room. All right, okay, I know, I know, I know. You're friendly, okay, okay, I see that, I see that. Okay, okay, I just counted 58 kisses. Huh? 59, 60, all right, I'm convinced, come on. Let's get out of here. Ready, one, two, three, lead the way. That's the wrong way. There you go, come on. Before he can begin training Bean, Brandon brings the Spaniel mix to Banfield Pet Hospital for an examination. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Dr. Batista. Great to see Good you. Good to see you again. This must be Bean. This is Bean. Hi, Bean. Just got him from the shelter? Yeah. And here's what I do know about him. Hi. The shelter said that he had a case of worms. Apparently they gave him medication and it's been taken care of. Okay, But Good. besides the usual checkup that I'd like you to give him, I'd like you to confirm that it's been taken care of. Absolutely, we definitely want to make sure that he doesn't have worms. Perfect. Dr. Batista first gives Bean a physical exam, checking his eyes, ears, teeth, legs and paws, his belly, and his heart and lungs. I'm gonna actually check his coat. Worms that we most commonly see will fall into two categories, one of them being tapeworms. When they come out, they actually can look like little white pieces of rice that move, and then they dry up into little sesame seeds, and sometimes you'll see those around the bottom. The other kind of worm we sometimes will see, it's called a roundworm. It'll look more like what you would expect a worm to look like. I don't see any obvious worms on Bean right now, but it's really important that we still go ahead and do a fecal flotation test. We'll be able to check for any eggs, and any eggs will be evidence that worms are present, okay? Perfect. And it's gonna take about 15 minutes to get the results. Perfect. All right. Okay. How do you do? So great news, his test was negative. So that means the shelter's treatment for him was effective. If Bean has had tapeworms before, he got that from ingesting a flea. So we're gonna send him home with a flea and tick preventive. You're gonna use it year round on him so that it'll protect him from fleas. Additionally, when he comes back in about six months, we'll do another fecal flotation test. And if those results are negative, we still like to give a dewormer as part of his preventive care. And other than that, he's in great health. He's safe to take to the ranch and begin training? Yes. Perfect. Thanks, Dr. Batista. You're welcome. Good to see you, Brandon. You too. Bye, right. Bean. Come on. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy.